Hey babies! So today we have a special session. You're going to be following something that I'm doing for self-care. So I just started sewing. I'm not good yet. That's okay. I'm getting there. So we're going to meet Donna and we're going to work on a project together. I'm so excited. And let me know if you like this. Share. Uh, talk about it in the comments. Tell me something you want to see me do. I do all of these hobbies. So you get to follow me. I won't be doing it well, but that's okay. It's a journey. It's, it's an adventure. I'm excited. You know, I'm trying to continue to sew and, right. and improve my craft. That's right. Um, What's our next project going to be? I'm trying to make a fanny pack. That's right. That's right. So I should have worn my fanny pack. Yes. <laughs> so I can have some examples. However, we do have some new fabrics in that will be fabulous for that. I like this. I like this like like these nudes. Oh yes, yes, they come in skin tones, skin tone colors, different shades. So for fanny pack, you wanna make sure you have a solid woven fabric. We have a variety of um, woven fabrics that you would use with interfacing. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect fabric mm. for you as it has all variety of hearts and different shades okay. and things of that nature. I like this. This is this one right here. Yes, like this, this is like perfect because this is kind of bronze shades, things that would pair with these fabrics. Mm. You can use these as a lining and this on the outside. So how would I know to choose what color to go with what? So what will you be using your fanny is pack it, for? If it just makes me feel good? This would definitely make you feel good. It goes with a variety of outfits and okay. colors because it has different shades. Like it would go perfect with what you have on today. Okay. Right here. We'll let them see. See that? That's gorgeous. This is, and I should know, line work. And the reason why it's line work is because she sketched all the different motifs onto one fabric and mm -hmm. then she took all of those motifs and put them in different oh. um, shades of black and white and then added pops of color like into this right here. Yes. These are peacocks, Ooh, and the peacocks have peacock. different colors inside of it. Let me ask you, have you done anything? Have you um, created any kind of designs, or like, how do you do that? How yes, do I have. So, so you, you can get a graphic, or you can hire a graphic artist, mm -hmm. and that artist will make the images for you. In this case, I purchased some um, graphics, okay, and then love. I made my own fabric for Valentine's Day. This so is this cute. is a perfect one too because that's a more heavyweight cotton. Mm -hmm. And then I made some for kids, which oh. is some like little, now this is not fire resistant, so I do have to say that, but it's perfect for like a shirt is, or a skirt would fire, or leggings. Would fire resistant be like standard? Is that something? Yeah, if you're going to make pajamas for kids, yes. 
Oh, okay, yes, that makes yes. sense. But this as regular clothing, not so much. Okay. So you can make leggings, a regular shirt, or some Why pajamas and not regular because clothing? If it catch, if, because if a fire occurs at like nighttime, when you're sleeping? Yeah, oh. it, it won't catch on I to like the I've child. Heard that. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like a standard in the industry that they okay. must have that. Is it the same for adults or no? No. No, adults <laughs> got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. We got, <laughs> you got to figure it out. Yes, exactly. And this one is always the pretty one. Yes, this fabric is very popular. It's sold out several times. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep it in stock, but it's kind of hard because once people see it, we'll just it, put it, we'll put it in the back out. for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we also have something that we call charm packs. Uh huh. So these What's are little that? stacks of fabric where oh. you can pick out anything that you want you can use it to make quilts and that's what people do with it mostly is make quilts oh yes so that but you can still use it for fanny packs as well because so you can mix and max and make it like a how uh, long how how large are they so these are what you call fat quarters which <laughs> is like a 18 by 24 piece of fabric okay yeah so it's, this is a fat quarter pack <laughs> that's cute charm pack <laughs> That's cute. Well, charm packs are different. Charm packs are like this. This is a charm pack oh. because they're like five by five squares. Oh. And somebody will take that and they'll make like other squares with it mm -hmm. and then put it into a quilt. Does that sound nice? Yeah. Let me also show you another collection that um, came out by an influencer, Damask Love. Oh, that's cool. She created this fabric collection during the pandemic, and I have a few pieces left over. So this is what I was going to look at. I was like, okay, the hands. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I, from my understanding, a few people came in and they said these. They're signing? Yeah, they're signing. That's it's a cool. few like words of like love and peace oh, and things like that. That's cool. Yeah, so I've had a few students from Gallaudet, and they really gravitated towards okay. this fabric. And then we have another one in honor of Black History Month. And I can see this for Women's History Month. Yes, yes, it's beautiful, beautiful fabric. When you're buying fabric, mm -hmm. what comes to mind when you do it? Are you like... Well, I try to buy pieces that I think others are going to love when they come into this shop. Oh. I also try to buy quite a bit of fabrics that um, relay diversity. So I'll have some like cool cats here like this. Mm -hmm. I have some Hello Kitty collection That's as well. That's cute. That's here, a cute one right here's, there. Yeah, here's more. Like a sexy Hello Kitty yeah. dress. <laughs> <laughs> here's more of the tulip pink, but this one she did in honor of homemade, like sewing. Oh. So you'll see like sewing motifs here in different colors. Um, we have one with the cute little turbans on it. So you have different lady faces with this is different pretty. turbans. Yes, yeah, it's very, very Actually, pretty fabric. That's pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous fabric. And then this one is really my favorite. <laughs> this one is male mermaids. Look at them. And the all the mermaids are diverse. I was going to say they, the, the semen. Yeah, they are the semen. Look at them. This one has locks and this one has red hair with a goatee. And they're really, really cute. They have tattoos. That on is them really cute. Mermen? Mermen. 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 Mermen of the sea.
when you start people off, like, what's the first thing? In a beginner class, there's some people that, majority of people, I would say at least 75% of the persons that come here, yeah. they've never touched a sewing machine before. It used to be where you, like, even when you went to fashion school, mm -hmm. like, you already knew how to sew because someone in your family or a friend or mm -hmm. a neighbor knew how to sew. Many years ago, there were no like mm -hmm. sacks and mm -hmm. Neiman's and things. Yeah. Um, no prom gowns, fancy shopping. So all of the so proms that I went that, to, yeah. and I went to five proms. What? Like <laughs> I made all my dresses for my prom because there's no shop, or no, could you like really afford to go mm. to a shop? So, you made all your dresses? Yeah, I made all. And you went to five proms? I went to five proms. Spoken like an Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know more about that sign. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's this. And this is also a fabric that I made, this other one. I this don't know. I seem to gravitate to faces for some odd reason. I like that, though. <laughs> but this is more of a dress fabric. Like if you want to make a dress or something okay. with it, and it has the cool faces on mm. it. Yeah. That's really pretty. Yep, and then I have some knits down here. What is a knit? A knit is a stretchy fabric, similar to like what you have on for That's your That's what I want, because when I want, I like to be snatched and sleeved. Girl, What's yeah, that? snatch okay. it up. So then you have this cute one that you can mix and match here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is from the, uh, this is uh, from Mimi, leftover from Mimi G's collection. Okay. She did a collection during the pandemic as well. And then um, you have more of the tulip pinks. You have this cool denim fabric mm -hmm. here. I've made a lot of things with this. This one is very, very popular. That's really cool looking. Mm -hmm. This is a wool fabric. This is a crepe. And what would you do? Would this be like trousers? Yeah, trousers. Or, oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, or even a jacket, like mm. a um, nice close-fitting jacket. Mm -hmm. um, this is a cool crepe from Italy. And then you have some nice African fabrics up here. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, some are plain and some oh, have beautiful glitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Wait, I think I like this one. I'm going to go with yeah. this one. Yeah, look at the faces on that one. Okay. That's adorable. This is cute. Put my fanny pack just to see if it looks. <laughs> Let me cut your fabric for you and your interfacing, and then you can get started on your project. I'm excited because I'm going to just so, so, so away. I'm excited for you. And so, so chic. Yes. <laughs> okay, now that you cut out your pieces, you want to separate them by groups. Okay. And you have a lining here, and you have your base. This is your lining and this is your base. Okay. You want to pin your interfacing to your lining so it's secure. Mm -hmm. And then once you pin these pieces, you will then take them over to the ironing board and you will iron these pieces onto the lining. Okay. That's your first step. So after you've Finished attaching it via the iron. You can take your pins out. Okay. Because I know my fanny pack's gonna look good. Does the fanny pack have another name? Bum bag. The okay. <laughs> you want to grab your other pieces. Okay. And you've already attached the interfacing to the lining as well. And then we'll start to sew your pieces together. Okay. Okay. How can I, so I need to pin them? Yes, this one, for sure, you do need to pin. Can you show me? Yes. So, let's 
put these out of the frame. Then this piece will be basted. Mm -hmm. You have your basting thread. One side is a little longer than the other, and that's just to give you some slack as you're sewing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, this thread helps you, it helps it not to tangle up. If you're mm. using ordinary sewing thread, it may because this has like a little wax mm. feel to it, and mm. it feels different as well. Yes, it does. Okay. So when you're basting this on, mm -hmm. you want to start from this corner here, and you just insert your needle. Bring it up, bring it through, and then you have your basting stitches. Okay, so then you want to do about half an inch of running stitches throughout your project. You're just holding these two pieces together because when you get ready to sew them with the sewing machine, they will be easier to handle. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so now I made a few stitches. I want you to try it. Okay. Good job. Good job. Now, this is where you would pull on the end of your thread a little bit, and then you pull it up here, and it gives you more single thread. It might be easier to turn it around the other way, like this, because then you can handle it better. Mm -hmm. Oops. Got a little tangled, but that's okay. As long as it's attached, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little tangled there. That's okay.
that. Chico, you're almost done. <laughs> I was trying to get you to do it for me. <laughs> no, ma'am. Uh, not in this class. No. Nope. You're not going to learn if I do it for you. You're right. You're not wrong. <laughs> and then do that there. Yep. And then you can just, like, tie it off. You do, like, one more... And then you could just tie it off. The needle through there. Give it a little knot. And then you're done. Yay. Because once you get finished with this basting stitch and you have your pieces sewn on, then that will come out. Okay. And it's just easy to pull out like I did earlier. Okay. So let's tie it. That's it. So here's where I'm at. What do I do next? Okay, this is an excellent stop, stopping point. You completed all your basing in the back of the bag. Yeah. The next it looks good? Yes, it looks okay, great. Okay, look at these straight lines. I know, you did an excellent <laughs> job. The next step will be to insert the zipper into the main part of the bag, and that's what we'll continue with next week. Next week already? Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Time's up. Well, can you show me some stuff you're doing? Absolutely. No Ooh, problem. I'm excited. Let's go look at it.
So I just took some random cotton pieces and pieced them together. I saw an example of a quilted pair of pants in Free People. So I said, oh, let me just take some of my scraps and piece them together. I wasn't going to pay $200 for those pants when I could do it myself. So this is the beginning of the pants. I'm just putting all these pieces together just randomly. And then I'll take my pattern and then cut it out and make So you did pants. all of these? Yes, I did all these. Sometimes when I get bored, I'll just make a few squares and put them together. But look, I'm almost finished because that's one panel. And then here's another. So I have almost enough to make the pants. I'm just going to make it a little bit wider so I have some extra fabric to play with. This is very cool. Yeah, just random pieces. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. So you would just, you would then cut it? Too? Yes. Mm -hmm. From a pattern. Oh. From the same piece that you were using for your purse, I can put all of these squares together and make a patchwork. That's why I tell you in class, keep all of your scraps how because long, they are usable. How long would this take me? Um, Three months? Well, it, it will take a little bit because you have to cut the squares and piece them together and then I'm sew them. You got to have some... Pa yeah. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> you do have to have a level of patience for this. That's why I'm still sitting here after maybe a year. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. I had a good time. Yes, it's such a pleasure to see you okay, always. Okay, I will see you next week. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Goodbye, Bye. girl. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed our session, a very different session. You know, we talk about self-care all the time, so this is just another way to express yourself in your self-care. So if no one has said it, let me go ahead and say it love you but make sure you love yourself a little bit more each and every day and do some things that make you happy you know just keep trying and trying and trying okay i'll see you next time